An ascender is a device that helps the user either haul equipment up the rope or haul themselves also. There are few ascenders used today. The main choices really are just Petzl. There are some other makes available, but they are not so readily found as that of Petzl. Ascenders are used in pairs for SRT. A chest ascender and a hand ascender is required to get up the rope. Some people use a foot ascender also, but as a person with little or no coordination, I found I end up in a mess when I try to climb this way. A chest ascender, such as the Petzl Kroll, attaches low down near the belly button, or as close as possible to it. It is held upright by the use of a chest harness. It works by using a spring which returns a toothed cam inside a strong outer frame. When a rope is loaded into the crawl and the cam engaged, the teeth, which are downward pointing, grip the rope, preventing downward movement. Because of the direction of the teeth, when an upward movement occurs, the sprung cam shifts, allowing the rope to pass freely. When weight is applied once more, the teeth engage, preventing downward movement. A hand ascender, such as the Petzl Ascension, works in an identical fashion to the chest ascender. As a device, it has a handle on it for manually running it up the rope. It is used in conjunction with a foot loop and attaches to the harness by any number of combination of lines, but most popularly by a short line of dynamic cord. In combination, the user applies the chest ascender to the line it locks on, then they apply the hand ascender, using the foot loop and hand ascender together to take up the stretch of the rope, in a kind of foot pump action. When on a short line, hardly any stretch will be noticed. On a much longer line, say 60 meters, then a few attempts will be required as the line feeds through the chest ascender. Eventually, the user will begin to leave the ground. When faced with a free ascent, then a frog-style motion may be adopted. When faced with a wall, then you simply walk up the wall with one foot in the foot loop. It really is as simple as it sounds, but requires some practice to ensure the systems are used properly. It is not uncommon to become exhausted quickly if the arms alone are used to ascend the rope, and in this instance it is just practice that is required to develop the necessary skills to ascend properly. It is possible to ascend in other ways, for example with prussic knots and so on, but with modern equipment these other methods are best left for emergencies. Thank <laughs> you.